Hi, I'm Mark LaRochelle from Productive Computing, and in this video we're going to take a look at a new product that we created in FileMaker 17 called the FM Server Manager. With the FM Server Manager, you can directly control FileMaker 17 Server using the new FileMaker 17 Server Admin API. With the release of this new API from FileMaker, you can do all kinds of things and control the server directly from third-party elements. In this case, we're using a FileMaker file to control FileMaker server. So what did we create here? We created a tool that allows you to close a database, open a database, pause a database. We can create schedules, backup schedules, FileMaker script schedules that perform on the server script schedules that uh, send a message to the users or the clients and the connections. There's all kinds of things that we've created with this tool. Now you might say, well, why did we create a tool like this when you can simply use the built-in FileMaker 17 admin console that comes complete with FileMaker 17 server? Well, the answer for that is simple. We created this tool for our customers, specifically our hosting customers. With dedicated FileMaker 17 hosting, we no longer have the ability to create a thing called a subordinate group, which means that our customers would not have the ability to open and close databases and manage their script schedules or their backup schedules remotely, because in order to do so with FileMaker 17, they would need the full admin console credentials, which is something we are not prepared or should give out to our customers directly who host with us. Instead, we'd like to give them their own set of credentials to allow them the same kind of control while not giving the full master password to them for the server itself. So that's why we created the tool. But a byproduct of that is that this becomes a great showpiece on how to work with the FileMaker Server Admin API. So we've decided to create this tool and present it to the community at no charge. All you need to do is sign up to our Productive Computing University course, and the course comes complete with an overview of what the product can do, a little bit of uh, under the hood, some of the features and benefits, and things like that. But more importantly, the tool can be used as a guidepost or a starting point for you to create your own management system where you can manage FileMaker 17 server using a FileMaker file. It doesn't require any plugins, and it's pretty straightforward in the way that we've created it. It can do quite a lot and it's completely unlocked so you can get under the hood and check things out for yourself. If nothing more than just to learn a FileMaker API, this is a great tool for that. So if you want to learn more and you want to get involved, here's how you get it. You simply sign up for our free course, which is located at www.productivecomputinguniversity.com. And from there, you can sign up. All you need is your first and last name and an email address. We're not going to ask for a credit card or anything like that, and, and it's not a paid course, so you won't need a credit card. Just sign up. You can look at a few videos, learn how the tool works, and the tool can be downloaded from within that course. So you just sign up for the course, download the tool, watch the videos, and dig right in. So hopefully this tool will be of help for you if you ever wanted to learn more about how to manage FileMaker 17 server or just wanted to learn more about a FileMaker API. In fact, this server API is very similar to the traditional FileMaker data API that was released with FileMaker 16. So by using this tool, you can actually learn both APIs at the same time because the fundamentals are very similar, if not the same in some cases. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more content like this, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, liking our Facebook page, or following us on Twitter and LinkedIn. We also have a monthly newsletter describing the latest happenings here from Productive Computing, as well as other industry-related news. Thanks for watching.